I'm going to ask you a really deep question. And what that question is, is what do you think was the best way to live? What what should you do to live like the best life possible to have the best existence on this planet? What should you do to have the most like best, impactful, meaningful, most purposeful life you can? To <laughs> what what do you think? A lot of these answers are gonna vary, obviously. Like if you're religious, your answer might be like serving God. If you're like a Jeffrey, it's probably gonna be doing shit that's fun. <clears throat> Just doing whatever's fun. Playing video games, drugs, porn. If you're more of the self help the self help answer to this question is delayed gratification. A lot of the I really think this is like the the like correct answer, the like ultimate correct answer to like how to live the best life possible. And I think the answer is delayed gratification. Cause like how do we be have the most happiest, joyful life ever? The I'll tell you the worst way, first off. Let's invert that question. The way you live the most depressing Worst life possible is going to be through chasing happiness. You know, you know these people, the, they, have, they do self-destructive behavior. The constantly chasing happiness. You're like, what should I do right now to get happiness? Oh, right now to get happiness, I could go look on my phone, watch some TikToks. That's super entertaining. Um, to, enter, to have the most fun right now, I could go play some video games on my PC. I could go watch fucking porn, go do drugs, do acid, whatever. This is the way to have the worst life. You know why that is, right? Because doing all this pleasurable stuff, it's going to come back later on to bite you in the ass. An example, eating like shit, later on you're going to be a fat fuck and you're going to regret that. Wasting your time playing video games, you're going to look back and wish you did something more productive at that time. <sighs> Doing drugs, you're going to wish you didn't waste so much time buying drugs and shit and fucking being a fiend. Doing something like porn, you're going to wish you didn't waste all that time and do that weird fucking shit. All that regret. So the real way to a happy, meaningful life is kind of to do the opposite. To do the hard thing first, to do the hard thing, hard thing first, and then so you get the happy feeling, the gratification later on. The the people who are gonna have the most successful lives, who are gonna have the most happiness, be successful, be like celebrities or whatnot, it's gonna be the people who choose to do the hard thing first, so that their future self can have like the benefits, instead of the opposite of way, which is do the pleasurable thing right now. Play video games, porn, smoke, junk food. So I can feel happy right now, but at the cost of my future self's happiness. Delayed gratification. Let's, let's bring up a good example of this. A really, um... Uh, the best example I can think of for delayed gratification is the act of working out every day. Every day, you go to the gym, you work out, it's not fun. Nobody enjoys working out. <laughs> Tearing your muscles, curling, squatting, benching, whatever. It's not fun to work out. But if you do it long enough, then you're going to reap the benefits. You're going to have that beach body that you've always wanted. You're going to demand the res respect of the room. Everyone's going to look up to you and wish that they kind of have that body. And you're going to get like all the spoils and riches because of your hard work. So this is a perfect example of doing the hard thing first for your future self. <laughs> Delayed gratification, discipline, whatever. It comes in different names, but basically discipline, the most common term for it, is doing the hard thing, especially doing what you don't want to do, doing what you don't want to do when you don't want to do it. That's discipline, I think. I don't know the definition. But anyways, doing the hard thing so you can be happy later. 
all the successful guys you look up to, well, at least I look up to, I don't know about you guys, people like, <laughs> I don't know, Trump, Andrew Tate, Andrew Huberman, Joe Rogan, I don't know, all the successful people, Jordan Peterson, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, you get the deal, all these successful people that you look up to, they all have one thing in common. They are disciplined. They did the hard shit first so that they could reap the benefits. They could be successful and they could get their money, their relationships. You won't find any instance of someone having a super happy, successful life and them doing all this destructive fucking behavior. Doing the easy shit right now. You, they all have that one thing in common. Do the hard fucking thing right now so that you can be happy later. A uh, good example, Elon Musk. I love talking about this guy. He worked his fucking ass off. He had an extremely good work ethic. Sorry about that. My mom kind of interrupted. So where are we at? Elon Musk? So yeah, Elon Musk, good example of delayed gratification. He had a super big work ethic. He worked, he pulled like 12 hour days. I don't know, 15, 18 hour days. Something really extreme. But he's like, Working all day, he'd, like, sleep in his car so he didn't have to drive back home. He'd, like, sleep at work. Super dedicated. It definitely wasn't fun working all day. <laughs> not, it's not fun crunching numbers, building spaceships. When you're, like, doing it for 18 hours a day. It's not fun, I mean. But he did that hard shit. It was not fun. But at the end of it, bro became super successful. He's, like... He has, he's the owner of SpaceX. He has, like, billions of dollars. Really rich guy. Very successful. And all because of what he did in the beginning. He was disciplined. He did the hard shit first. So that he could have this, all the spoils of his efforts later on. And there's you. What are you going to do now that you watch this video to become more like Elon Musk, to become more like these successful people. Now that you know the secret to becoming a successful person, living a happy life, you know the secrets of discipline and delayed gratification, what are you going to do now to apply this video? Are you going to go work out every day or something? Are you going to go... How are you going to apply this? For most of you, you're just going to skip this video and go on to the next video. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> just some random guy on the internet. But I want to invite you guys to join my personal mentorship. It's the first link in the description. And it's going to teach you to become more disciplined. And it's going to teach you to become more fit. Two, they kind of go together. Because you have to be fit to be disciplined. Kind of go together. Anyway, so I just mixed them up. So I'm going to run you down that. You get one-on-one -on -one coaching. You get, you get 30 minute check-in calls every week. My personal phone number for unlimited texting. And access to my courses. So check it out, first link in the description. If you are not interested, it's all right. I don't mind. So check, check it out if you're interested. And with that, I'll see you guys in my next video.